welcome to soft demo i come up with the new content how to import and export our project into xr file into xls file into xr pml file into microsoft project file and also in this content i will let you know how to make a cost loading excel sheet or how to load cost in a project so continue my lecture i open my primavera p6 here in projects i have created already villa construction 2 without any changes i have make already this project without any updating progress so i will continue from this one without interrupting you i will remove first my baseline to show it clearly the second thing i have done in this change is that project total cost you have seen 0.00 why it's displaying 00.00 when i go to resource i have changed the standard rates to 00.00000 so it's easily go to zero overall project because when it's it multiplied by two project units so it will be automatically total budget units will be zero and the second thing i have done is to calculate cost from units and when we schedule here when we press f9 button here and when we go for option here and we can see recalculate assignment cost after scheduling so it will i have schedule again and it again calculated the cost and it remain all the units zero because the basic thing is that we have made standard unit rate to zero so i will show you the unit will be same i will add a column here i will find units here i will find a units here so in the units unit tab we can find project budget labor units non labor units here we find labor non labor here you can see there are units labor units and non labor units given here so budget units and non labor units and material units are there but there is no cost because i have assigned zero standard rate i will remove these columns we will go for our today's content our today's content is on how to import and export files and how to make cost loading so i tell you initially because i want to also make cost loading here so i will export my project by arrow up button so here we can see export format so we can see here we can change the format we are using 19.1 to the latest version now so that's why we will export our file in 19.12 i will show you and the next button is export type we can see export type what is export type so export type we can only export resources and roles if a project we need only full project in the other system or other database project we can export our project and if uh, we need only resources in that one project we can only click on resource and if we want only role and other project so we can click on role so i need to project so here you can check this box and project id it show you which project you want to be export next we will click next and we will give this location export name and file location we will go for desktop here and we will give a file name with export export file name and finish when we finish you can see it's easily finished and the export was successful and export clicked we will show you where is this one here you can see this p6 the latest icon export e c p o r t spelling mistake but it's export so i will click and i will import the project again here you can see there are four projects one is villa construction b1 villa construction b1 villa construction b1 and one is project reflection 
and uh, I will add here a project file import here project project primavera p6 xr project pm okay xr file we have not xml not xls not microsoft project file we have xr file next we are importing a project next we are importing please enter the file name of the xr here we we have to give the location xr file this one to be we have to be export so if we change made change in our other database and we have to come back on that location and update our existing so we will click update existing if we add uh, into existing project so we have to add into existing project so create a new project we can create this project to new project ignore this project we can ignore this project also so i will do an update existing project so which is my existing project is villa construction 2 project same as it is because we don't make any change so next i will move for there i will show you the last option update project option so here we can go for add a new configuration or old configuration no problem we can add a new configuration of own own self i will modify and show you what we can do in this configuration there are three type of configuration here one is activity global and project activity configuration it show you in the activities you have added in the project so what you can act, make an action on it and or delete or action on it you can update do not import or insert now new or keep existing or update existing or you can also delete this one from checkbox and if you want to do not import it's no problem you can click on do not import if you want to in insert new you can change into insert new and if you want to keep existing the remain in the project no problem you can click on keep existing update existing you will click on object updated existing same as it if you want to click do not import you can do not import keep existing and key and update existing so if you make any global changes in the project so all the global changes goals and risks categories and roles and resources will be also updated or keep existing or if you make any change into project codes anything calendars you can also update the existing so this one is uh, our customize option or modify option so we can add, add also the configuration base same here so we will click on next here you can see it's finished so we completed this one here it's it's updated into existing no change but we don't need to be focus but it is updated now if if uh, we update in another project it will be updated uh, this one i have shown you how to import and export excel uh this one i have shown you now i have shown you how to import and export a primavera file now i am going to show you how to export and import xr file uh, excel file sp spreadsheet or we can say excel sheet we can also make a, a we can also make a microsoft project file mpx xml xml 2013 and these are all the version here xml file we can also make a ansi effect and spreadsheet i will go for spreadsheet these are all other version contractor version and p6 xml version you can also use this version but the basic to use version are the basic to export uh, in the primavera people mostly used primavera p6 uh, primavera pm xr and spreadsheet we mostly use but also the people who use uh, microsoft project also import this one export this one and import this one i will go for next so here are five types of exporting database in the excel one is activities if you want to export activities and one is activities relationship and one is expenses and resources and resource assignment so what i will do i will first make a change here to load my cost i will show you both both things how to export and import by cost loading in additionally i will 
go for resource and I will add a resource of cost here. I will add a resource. It's saying I will show you all the resource. No problem here. I will give a code C cost and cost loading. I will give resource name cost loading and then I will go for material. Yes, material resource here and here I will assign. dollar sign dollars here you can see dollar written but you can also add a dollar sign here yes you can here we can see a dollar sign here so cost we can calculate cost from units here we go for standard units we will assign one here it will be multiplied by one one okay we will go for activities here and from the top we will assign a resource in issuance of project add here a resource activity cost loading resource here and we will right click here and add a column here line number no problem it's by mistake we will add a column here of resource here a resource resources okay add a resource here and go for selection this one and to bottom select all and i will double click on there so after double clicking it it will take some time but it a uh, resource it assign all the resources to all the project over cost loading resource you can see here cost loading resource assigned to all the project so here we go for file here export this file for cost loading for xls file we'll go for their xls file we will add activities resource assignment from here because we don't need activity relationship we can also export activity relationships we can change relationship from there we can also export expenses and we can change expenses from there resources we can add also resources and we can change there so we will go for export export this project here, modify here and we will add activities here activities columns right here and also resource assignment and for resource assignment we have to add budgeted units column that is must so okay here and we can add templates here next we have to give the location here already file this one is location open and next finish close here you can see there is some cost 10,000 but the actual cost because this is some units are assigned so that's why it's showing some cost so the actual cost will be load after I change so I'll I also show you in the excel sheet, sheet there should be units already in so this one is task the first activity sheet so this one is in sheets so that we can easily activity sheet and this is resource assignment and this is user data user data is that that this is the basic file so we can update or upload on primavera p6 database so this is our resource here we can see our resource here so what we will do we have to change our we have to load our cost resource so 
we will add a filter here go for there we will add a filter here click on there and we will only add cost loading resource here yes you can see this is only called cost loading resource so the thing is that this this value is in this value is in text you can see here this value is in text you need any value in text here is in number so when i import here a number or put a value so it will be in number so you can see here it is in number i have values already make from boq so i add here my cost here so i put my cost here here additional cost added so i have added cost here cost here of the project in budgeted units so i will select this one and convert this one into text here i will go for data here and text to column and i will go for delimited here column comma and select for comma here next and convert into text finish it's converted into text and control s so and cross this button and what i will do i will import this one here you can see here the cost of the project total cost is ten thousand dollars and i will add a import cost here load cost my import here go for xls file uh, which one file is here and i will go for desktop vc2 next here activities and resource assignments update existing project import to this project 159 activities vc2 next here and finish here let's see here close here guys you can see cost is loaded 3.236 million so here i tell you how to load cost so if i remove this one you can see cost loading resource all only contain this one so we can go for resource assignment we can also see here the cost loading resource is only cost loaded 3.2 million so you can exactly put the cost of boq here so no cost non labor no cost of material other one no have cost no do not have single cost but they have units but this this resource uh, cost loading have only the cost based so this is my today's content is on how to import and export and what is cost loading and how to make cost loading through xls file so you can also make file export to into other formats microsoft project and other p6 format so this is will be easy for you to work in different formats and different softwares by working in primavera p6 so if you like my videos please like comment and share and till now if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon to get latest upcoming notifications see you in next video